Okay, I've got the Xtool RA2 Pro. This is the uh, rotary. So I've sold the Xtool D1 Pro laser because I've got myself a CO2 now. Still got the fiber laser as well with the rotary, but I thought I'd keep the RA2 rotary because it is quite universal. And it's got the roller system as well. I just knocked uh, a small amount off the D1 Pro. The guy was happy to get it without the rotary for now. And I scored myself a pretty good rotary tool as a spare. And I've got the rollers as well for uh, the flat objects or the uh, very round objects too. So yeah, kept the X-Tool rotary. I've been using the rotary here for ages on the fiber laser. Now these have a different connection to the X-Tool. These are your aviation plugs. So it's got a four pin plug. Two wires go to each phase on these motors. We'll plug that back in for now. Now the X tool has this type of plug here. So a lot more basic plug, a lot more prone to breakages if you're plugging it in and out as well. But basically the same concept. It's a four wire system, which is a two phase stepper motor. So I found out a way to wire it into your aviation plug. So if you want to do that, follow along. Got it mostly done. I just haven't soldered it up and heat shrinked it yet, but I'll uh, let you know how we go. And I've got a stepper driver in my fiber laser which is set to 12,800 and that converts to 51,000 steps per rotation on the X tool and then I'll see what my CO2 laser does and I'll have to adjust that and write down that as well but generally each machine will have different steps per rotation sets in your stepper drivers the CO2 is 5,000 um, on this rotary that works on 5,000 which is the X no the Y the Y axis gets disconnected and this plug plugs into that one so i've got all that written down 5000 for the co2 12800 for this rotary and i'll work out what that x tool one is on the co2 as well that's quite easy to work out you can just press the test button this will do a 360 degree rotation i've got this one marked out just here you want that to go exactly 360 degrees and just to keep adjusting this number here the steps per rotation until you get that exactly lined up in one rotation. All right, so now let's put this aviation plug onto the X tool. So if you've got the X tool as well, and I've got some of this cable from J Car, it's very flexible. Pretty much the same one that comes with your standard rotaries. That's what it looks like inside. It's a shielded cable which we've cut off as well. So what you want to do instead of cutting off your X tool factory plug just use this extension and then we can heat shrink to that and have a separate connection in case you want to use that or if i want to sell this to someone with an x tool machine i can just unplug that and it'll be ready to go so now inside this is the kind of plug that you need this is an aviation style plug so this is a two-piece one i'll just unscrew this one so that's the one you need to put on your cable from your rotary tool. So you pretty much just undo this one screw right there and you have four points that corresponds to these inside of there. That's what you solder that to. So on the front, you've got it labeled one and two, which is there, one and two, three and four. So each side of that little recess on the top there, one, two, three, four. See if I can zoom in for you. So there you go, one, two on the right, three, four on the left. So that's the two pairs that we're going to use today. And I've already soldered that on and it's ready to go. So I've used number one for red, number two for black, number three for yellow, number four for white. So that's gonna be our two pairs, red and black, white and yellow. Now following down to the other end of our cable, there's our pairs. So we've got red and black as one pair. Yellow and white as another pair. And as you can see, that's how I've wired them in. I've just divided the x -tool plug up into two pairs. So the right pair is yellow and white. The red pair and the black is on the left. And they'll follow up and correspond to the two pairs in your x -tool rotary machine. What we'll do, we'll heat shrink those up later, but I've just put these here to do a test for you, but we'll leave that for now. Let's get this rotary up and running so you can see that works. That one's already plugged in. We'll switch on the fiber laser. Actually, the other way to find your two pairs of your rotary is to use a multimeter with ohms. And connecting the two pairs of wires up, you should get a zero reading. 
any other reading, it's the wrong pair. So that's another way to find which pair is correct. All right, let's set this back to 12,800 because that's what this rotary runs on. And then we'll hit the test button right there. And you see that rotary does exactly 360 degrees. And back again. And it turns left and then right, or anti-clockwise and then clockwise. All right, so let's unplug this rotary from the fiber laser. And we'll get our other plug from our X-Tool machine right there. But first we'll make sure none of these wires are touching each other because they're just a temporary solution. A big gap there. We don't want those touching. And let's plug in our let's plug in our X-Tool rotary like so. None of these wires are touching. All right, so now we need to change this to 51,000, which we've previously worked out. 51,000. That will get us a 360 degree rotation. There's our mark pointing to that screw on the corner there. And if we hit the test button right here, we should have our X-Tool rotary up and running with our fiber laser. And there we go. Nice and smooth. So that's coming around, it's almost at 12 o'clock. You can see the black mark on the rubber band there. It should correspond exactly with that screw. So we'll do a test on a cylinder with a rotary marking, just uh, an engraving just to see it is 100% 360 degrees. It should come back and return. It's at six o'clock. There we go. There's our mark again. That's all there is to it. That's the wiring and your steps per rotation setting that you need to do. So RA2 rotary, grab your little adapter plug there. Unless you want to snip your wiring but if you've got that plug included with your kit, two pairs, red and black, yellow and white, go to each phase of the motors. Number one and two and three and four on your aviation style plug. Let me just unplug this from the fiber laser so we don't short that out. And then just solder those together with some heat shrink. And then on the other end of your cable, you can actually put this style plug here. On your laser side so if you have a laser or even your x tool you can actually adapt this to your x tool you can unplug this wire this in and then you can have aviation style plugs which are a lot more hardy you can unplug those in and out all day hundreds of thousands of times you won't have any dramas and why is my lighting gone out i don't know i've lost my main lighting but anyway so there's all my Cables nicely heat shrunk and connected and we're ready to go So I'll either squeeze some more heat shrink over the top of that plug to cover those Or I've got this self-fusing silicon tape. I'll neatly put that on there as well. That's super strong self-adhesive All right, I've just done my silicon tape. I thought I'd get it out of the way That's the uh, the silicon tape there it comes protected with a plastic layer which you peel off because once it sticks to itself you pretty much are already fused together so there's our silicon wrapped cable and i've done the plug as well just for a bit of extra protection so that's pretty thick actually it's almost as thick as the uh the sheath on the other cable so there you have it completed ra2 to aviation plug Rotary cable. Itty.